Hello everybody. So I am uh, Tiksha Bora and I am Microsoft 365 consultant. I started my journey with SharePoint uh, five years ago and still going. So I'll be presenting you on SPFX web part where uh, I'm showing all the Azure apps from Active Directory, which allows us to create a new app also, uh, also allow us to update an existing app. So it mainly uses Microsoft Graph Client uh, and some uh, Fluent UI controls, um, React JS. So I'll I'll show you some demo. So here is the web part. Here are the Azure Active Directory apps. When I click on the uh, title of the app, it will allow redirect me to the page portal portal Azure portal and I'll be able to update anything into the app. So if I want to create a new app, I'll simply register a new app with some name. And, and here I can select the account type for my app and I can register. Once it get uh, added, uh, I need to refresh it. Then we will have this in our Simply, uh, if if I go to the link again, I can delete directly from the uh, portal. Uh, so here I'll show the code to get all the eight apps, and I'm getting that using the graph client. If you can see here, the graph client by adding uh, the calling the applications API, and I, here I'm processing the data which is moving to the state, and uh, then I'm getting all the details like owner of the app by calling the API with application and owner of the I, uh, ID of the owner. And then I'm processing all the owners to, to show into the uh, web part. And using document card control of Fluent UI, I'm displaying all the applications uh, to the web part. So to, to register a new app, I'm using a graph client API applications again, and I am passing new, de new details, uh, which includes display name of the app and sign in audience uh, uh, of the app to the uh, graph client. And I'm getting back the result, uh, the ID of the app. Uh, so uh, that was it from my side. Thanks. Great, thanks Good so much. Back to you. Yeah. All right, so David's got some links for everybody down there posted in the chat. Mm -hmm.